We'll begin at the presidential villa where President Bola Tinubu on his first day in office met with the group chief executive officer of the NNPC and governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. His meeting with the NNPC chief may not be unconnected with the current petrol crisis and how the government can rise to the challenge in the interest of Nigerians. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akode tells us more about President Tinubu's first day at work. First day at work for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu as he resumes office. A guard of honor welcomes the commander-in-chief of the armed forces to his official abode. After the military reception, he is received by Vice President Kashim Shetima, Speaker Femi Bajabi Amila, Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CEO of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation Limited, and other close associates of the president. But from the first day, it is clear that there is so much work to be done. The president has already started holding crucial meetings and making tough decisions. The group CEO of NNPC and the governor of the CBN met separately with President Tinubu to brief him on the state of affairs. The long queues at fueling stations across the country following the announcement of the removal of fuel subsidy seems to have gotten the attention of the president. The NNPC helmsman is emphatic that fuel subsidy can no longer be sustained. We are very convinced today that the country can no longer fund this subsidy bill and they will not be able to pay NNPC. And therefore, we are happy to please to note Mr. President's commitment to uh, elimination of this subsidy because they can't afford it anymore. And we will take necessary steps to ensure that uh, we recover our costs from the market and also being mindful of the fact that, you know, a situation like this can lead to exploitation of, uh, of customers and we are also working with the regulator who is here with me to see how we can cap any such uh, excessive uh, uh, management of uh, uh, greed, for, to, to, say the, to say the least. And this will be contained by virtue of the provisions of law. The, the vice president says the removal of petrol subsidy is one of the tough decisions that must be made in the interest of the country. And he restates President Tinobu's commitment to a better Nigeria. The truth of the matter is that we either get rid of the fuel subsidy or the fuel subsidy gets rid of the Nigerian nation. In 2022, we spent $10 billion subsidizing the ostentatious lifestyle of the upper class of the society because you and I benefit 90% from the oil subsidy. For President Bola Tinubu, time has gone past basking in the euphoria of victory as the reality of governance sets in. From the first day in office, President Bola Tinubu is facing a petrol crisis inherited from the previous administration. But in the coming days, Nigerians will be watching closely to see how this government will handle the removal of oil subsidy and ensure its impact is not badly felt by Nigerians. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abu.